The hardcore classic WoW experience has fascinated many people. The whole idea of deleting your character on death is very interesting, however, there is some key differences and weird things that are going on in hardcore classic WoW that will make it a very unique experience. As of now, we kind of have a beta of this in the form of the community run challenge of hardcore classic WoW where people run on official Blizzard servers and basically run the challenge through the add-on. Now there are some unique things about this which is not going to be applicable in the official version of hardcore classic. Namely, if you die, you can actually appeal the death. As in, let's say you died to some disconnect and you can approve it on stream or you die to a grief, you can actually appeal the death and get the death overturned and have your death basically not count as you actually dying. This won't be the case in the official Blizzard version of Hardcore. There is no appeal process. In fact, it's literally hard coded into the game. When you play the server, if you die, that's it. Like your character is gone. You can run around as a ghost but that's it, like the character can no longer be played. So there is no opportunity to appeal any deaths. It's pretty damn brutal when you think about it, because at any given moment you can disconnect from the game while in combat, and you know, by the time you get to your character and reconnect, there's a high probability that your character will be dead and sent to the Shadow Realm. And that's it. You have to ensure this never happens, even though it's outside of your control, you just have to cross your fingers and hope that you don't get disconnect deft. I don't know if there's actually a solution to this. Yeah, it's bullshit to dive to a disconnect death, but what's the alternative? Let's say that Blizzard had it that if you die while you're disconnected or whatever, timed out from the server, you know people are going to be exploiting this. There's going to be some kind of application that disconnects you from the game and people would press it if they're ever in danger so that they disconnect death and then it doesn't count and then they go back to the graveyard or something. So Blizzard is kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place. It's either a hardline approach where any disconnect death and that's it, your character's gone, deleted, which leads to people losing their characters in very unfair ways, but really closes the door on any exploits. If they allow people to appeal disconnect devs or have disconnect devs not count, it's just going to be exploited and people will just literally push a button when they're in danger to disconnect their computer. So it's understandable, but it's still kind of bad. I don't think anybody wants to play hardcore classic WoW and have their character be lost due to, you know, a raccoon chewing on the wire outside the building. Like, that's just ridiculous, right? But Blizzard have said that is the risk you take playing this self-imposed challenge. And actually, it seems like the community kind of likes the rules that Blizzard have made for Hardcore Classic. I did a poll on this channel and about 70% of you actually like the rules that Blizzard made for Hardcore Classic, which, let's be real, if 70% of the WoW player base agrees with a Blizzard decision, that's got to be somewhat of a record. It's very rare that the WoW community likes anything Blizzard does, but I think this is one of them where the majority of people are fine with the hardcore classic WoW rules. Another interesting thing is the Mac Gora system, which is basically a way of dueling a player, except you duel to the death. As in, you duel to see who deletes their character. So that is absolutely insane. Not only that, but they're actually encouraging this behavior by having this buff on your character called String of Ears. So like, if you kill a player in a duel, you'll get like a string of air and everybody will be able to see that you've actually killed the player in PvP. I actually kind of love that they're doing this. I don't think I'll be participating in Matt Gora. I mean, holy sh**. If you do forward slash Matt Gora, you are, you have some balls. But I kind of love that Blizzard is actually leaning into the gimmick of this. I would actually like it if Blizzard actually goes all in on this hardcore classic WoW gimmick. You know, they're doing the string of ears buff and the Matt Gora system, which I, I really do love. It's going to make for some very entertaining stream content, that's for sure. In fact, I think Blizzard is kind of realizing that the advantage to Hardcore Classic WoW is the content. So I think they're really making things specifically for content creators. I think this is one of these things which the Matt Gura system just absolutely generates clips by itself, right? Like that whole, the whole concept is just perfect for a viral YouTube clip or Twitch content, right? And I think Blizzard realized this, so that's why they put this into the game. However, if we're going into this hardcore classic WoW theme, I would like Blizzard to go a little bit farther. Let's really have some fun with this gimmick. I think something that would be cool is that if a level 60 dies, a realm-wide message would appear saying that that character died, kind of like what we have with the hardcore classic WoW add-on, but it's in the game client itself. I think that would be pretty damn good. Another cool idea, which I'm stealing from Stay Safe, 
is the idea of skeletons lasting a long time. So if you die in Hardcore Classic WoW, your skeleton lies on the floor for a long time. That way you get to see the areas where players die the most. It really does add to the feeling of the game where you know, you go up to like a cave and there's like skeletons littering the cave. Like, you know, this is like a dangerous area. I think that would really add to the atmosphere and, you know, the enjoyment of Hardcore Classic. And it's very easy for Blizzard to make that change. Like, they literally just need to go into the game files and, and change the length of uh, corpse duration. Another thing that I think could be taken from Dark Souls is the idea of, like, a message that you can leave on the floor. Now, this is kind of wacky and, you know, maybe this isn't the wisest idea, but I think it'd be kind of interesting and curious, a cool novelty to have, like, messages that you leave on the floor kind of like in dark souls like the community leaves messages on the floor about like dangers or warning people or even giving people troll messages and troll warnings about what is to come i think that would be very interesting like you're walking around the world and like as you're about to go into a cave you see a bunch of skeletons and messages written on the floor telling you to be careful i don't know like i think that would be pretty interesting and if we really want to get wacky why not introduce some enemies into the game like some rare mobs that patrol or add new mechanics and mix things up with various mobs in the game. I think at that point we're kind of getting into like vanilla plus territory which is what I want to see and you know it would definitely be interesting but let's be real that requires a bit more effort from Blizzard and uh you know I don't think Blizzard is putting Hardcore Classic WoW as that high a priority. But the whole idea is that Hardcore Classic WoW either way is going to be really weird and it's just going to be such a fun and uh painful time but i would like it if blizzard leaned more into the gimmick like if we're creating this self-imposed challenge which obviously isn't the real experience of classic wow let's go all in on the gimmick let's mix things up and be a bit experimental that's what i would like to see well guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed please drop a like and sub for more